Outer space. You know it. You love it. And technically, every movie is encapsulated within its genre. It's referred to as the final frontier in a lot of media. But in this video, it's just the tip of the Twerp Iceberg. I'm Psychotria, your captain for this expedition. Together, we're going to go on a voyage down into the depths of Twerp lore and explore the history behind some of the band's longest running memes, jokes, references, and trivia. So get comfortable, grab a food bar and some Soylent, and get ready to examine some of the deepest, strangest, and most obscure lore that Twerp has to offer. While the hull begins to pressurize, let's give the surface a bit of attention. These are some of the first things that new fans learn about the band. TWRP Tupperware Remix Party is often referred to by their abbreviated name, Twerp. But did you also know that TWRP is an acronym for a piece of software for phones? TWRP also stands for Team Win Recovery Project, a bootloader for Android phones. If you've spent any time on the subreddit, you may have seen some posts by lost Redditors looking for some help with their phones. There are several origin stories behind the band's name. In a 2012 interview with Music She Blogged, the band stated that the words Tupper, Wear, Remix, and Party were the first four words spoken by the drummer when they asked themselves, what the fuck are we gonna call ourselves? In a 2015 interview with Dave Herlow of Scope Magazine, Dr. Sung claims he chose the name because he liked the way it sounded even though the words had no meaning to him at the time. In a 2016 Reddit AMA, they claimed that it was the result of putting their names into Google and translating it into English. A more complete explanation was offered the following year in another AMA, stating, Sung and Hogan met at drum camp millions of years ago and became fast friends. One night after watching Interstellar 5555, high as fuck and eating an entire bag of reason, the two pals joked about making a ridiculous band, Literally, the first name that came to mind, with absolutely zero thought or hesitation, was Tupperware Remix Party. In 2018, Twerp mentioned they preferred the abbreviated name, in an effort to defend themselves from an impending legal onslaught, alluding to the band sharing the name of the popular food container, Tupperware. NSP's Backing Band It's no secret that much of Twerp's success came from their outstanding collaborations with comedy duo Ninja Sex Party. Starting with the hit, NSP has been featured on five songs, and Dan and Brian have both made solo contributions to Twerp's music. The two bands have become great friends and frequently collaborate and tour with each other. They've collaborated so much, in fact, that they are often referred to as NSP's backing band, potentially to their chagrin. In the 2017 AMA, Twerp was asked how do you feel as being called only a backup to NSP and people not respecting that you make your own music? Torp's response was short. We cry. Torp has appeared on Ninja Sex Party's Cool Patrol, Under the Covers 1, 2, and 3, and the most recent release, The Prophecy. Starlight Brigade Starlight Brigade is a song from the album Together Through Time that features Dan Avidan on vocals. An animated music video was created by Knights of the Light Table and features new designs for each band member. The music video also introduced Strive, a character designed to reflect Dan's idealism and drive. Starlight Brigade is Torp's most popular song, with the video amassing over 10 million views on YouTube and over 8.5 million plays on Spotify. The MAGFEST Kitar Toss When Twerp performed at MAGFEST in 2016, Dr. Sung attempted to do a kitar twirl at the end of their first song, Believe in Your Dreams. Unfortunately, the strap became loose, and the kitar was sent flying across the stage. Miraculously, the kitar survived, but had to be played on a stand for the rest of the show. Song number whatever goes out to all the ladies here tonight. Song number whatever goes out to all the ladies here tonight! is a phrase Torp frequently says at live shows when they introduce their next song. Song number two goes out to all the ladies here tonight. Two. Song number 22 goes out to all the ladies here tonight. Song number 42 tonight, folks, goes out to all the ladies here tonight. Song number 69 is called the No Pants Dance, and it goes out to all the ladies here tonight. Nearly every song is dedicated to all the ladies attending the shows. Some songs, like Only the Best, 
receive a different dedication. Not all the ladies necessarily. A very special kind of lady. I'm talking about your mom. Aaron Hansen. Aaron Hansen, also known as Ego Raptor, is one half of the popular Let's Play duo Game Grumps. He has lent his skills as a voice actor to the songs Groove Crusaders, Atomic Karate, Phantom Racer, and Hidden Potential. Aaron is also part of the musical comedy group Starbomb with Danny Sexbang and Ninja Brian. Tour performed with Starbomb for the first time at South by Southwest in 2016. Starbomb's latest album, The Triforce, features backing tracks performed by Twerp. The Sticky Bee The Sticky Bee is a gag that Dr. Sung used to do at the end of performances of Making a Move, where he would hold the last note of the song, which happened to be a B, for an extended period of time as if the key was stuck. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you guys so much, that means a lot. I think we can... All right, we're ready to begin our journey to the depths of the Twerp Lore Ocean. As we descend into the ocean of references and memes, we first enter the Sunlight Zone. This is the illuminated zone just below the surface where some of the most common ones reside. Gooby Gooby is the nickname of Dr. Sung's dog, Rufus. Gooby is popular among fans of Dr. Sung's live streams, and appears in a dedicated segment at the end of his streams called Gooby Time. Gooby is often used to advertise Torp merchandise, and even has a couple of Cone Zone related pieces, such as the Church of Rucifer t-shirt. Swagtron Swagtron is a brand of personal hoverboards that Dr. Sung uses. At shows, he often makes his entrance riding one on stage. Several ads for concerts in 2018 feature him excitedly opening new Swagtron boxes. JP Incorporated JP Incorporated is the name of JP Hassan's musical comedy act. According to his website, JP Inc. is a wonderful company specializing in a variety of quality products and services. JP Inc. uses a 1990s corporate aesthetic to promote fictional services and products. Call and give me the scoop on your limos, if it's not a problem. No sir. He frequently uses stock photos, 3D text, and music you'd expect to hear in an employee training video. JP Inc. has collaborated with Torp on several different occasions. He welcomed us to Lady World as a radio DJ and pitched the perfect product to us. But most recently, he guided us through Return to Wherever as a radio DJ yet again, and even offered gift cards to a lucky caller. We are looking for caller 9 to win a free $50 gift certificate to Stobies. You could use that for... Scatman. Scatman, ski ba bop ba dop ski ba bop ba dop bop God. I'm a scat man. Scatman is a song by Eurodance artist Scatman John. The song is a favorite of Twerps and is often played in concert venues following their performance. It has even made their way into their livestream show, The Twerp Show, appearing on the Guess That Song segment in go. Season 2, Episode 1. <laughs> oh, I, and at I the end of Season 2, Episode 4. Laser Horse Laser Horse is an instrumental song released by Twerp in 2011 as a digital single. The song was never included on any album or EP. Its driving rhythm and heavy metal influence contrast greatly against Twerp's current sound. Eventually, the song was retired from their repertoire sometime between 2013 and 2014. Laser Horse is the only song released before the device that the band continues to acknowledge to this day. As of early March 2021, you can still download the song at www.groovestation.com. Martha Martha is an inside joke that originated in the first episode of The Torp Show. A fan asked if Hav Hogan ever read the Murderbot Diaries by Martha Wells. Murderbot Diaries by Martha Wells. <laughs> you wrote that shit. <laughs> Martha Wells is his pen name. <laughs> Since then, 
He's been affectionately referred to as Martha by both fans and the band. Chris Hadfield's Generator Commander Chris Hadfield is a retired Canadian astronaut, engineer, and Royal Air Force fighter pilot who perhaps is most well known for playing David Bowie's Space Oddity on board the International Space Station. Since 2015, Twerp has had the honor of being the house band for Chris Hadfield's event, Generator, held in Toronto. Most recently, Twerp created the original score for Chris's latest YouTube series, Elevate Endeavor. But when I'm not in space, I live here, on Earth, just like you. And just like you, I want to keep it beautiful for all the following generations to enjoy. And Some Dogs Too. And Some Dogs Too is a misheard lyric, or Mondegreen, from the song Lady World. It comes from the second verse, where Dr. Sung says, Did I mention there were ladies? And some dudes too. Due to the nature of the talk box, the line is often misheard as, And Some Dogs Too. Laser Horse Locked in the Basement Laser Horse, the artist behind the hit and all of the album artwork for Twerp, has a complicated relationship with the band. Although he has provided them with high quality illustrations, videos, and merchandise since 2011, Twerp continues to have an antagonistic relationship with him, calling him names and locking him in basements until he completes his work. In the Twerp Holiday Special and Update video, a disheveled Laser Horse can be seen pleading with Dr. Sung for food. So hungry! Please give me a bite of a sandwich. Laser Horse has also made appearances on several other forms of media, including live streams and podcasts, and even has done artwork for other musicians and bands, including Ninja Sex Party and AA Wallace. You can follow him on Twitter at the Laser Horse, where he occasionally shares rare sketches and behind-the-scenes images. Phobos's debt. On July 18th, 2016. Twerp appeared on Hot Pepper Gaming, a YouTube show where guests must review a video game immediately after eating a hot pepper. I think I got a dud. However, one member of Twerp was absent. While Sung, Meowch, and Have endured the heat of a habanero pepper and reviewed the mobile game Space Team, <laughs> Phobos was nowhere to be seen. Phobos didn't want to do this. He made us do it. The video ends with an ominous warning. Phobos now owes a debt that must be paid. Unfortunately, Hot Pepper Gaming ended in 2017, and we will probably never see Phobos eat a hot pepper. Legalized Necromancy Legalized Necromancy is an inside joke that originated on Dr. Sung's livestream, The Cone Zone, while playing Dead by Daylight with Commander Meowch and Laser Horse. It started when the three were discussing blood magic. I don't really understand why it's outlawed. It seems perfectly ethical to me. I don't know. I mean, we all have it. It's not like yeah. there's a shortage. Yeah, I know. I, ne I can understand necromancy, but I mean, come on, man. Blood magic? Well, necromancy's fine, too. They're already dead. What is that? <laughs> I just, you know, it, it it brings up some really tricky moral, uh, moral questions, you know. Dude, hashtag legalized necromancy. <laughs> Legalized Necromancy gained more attention following the release of Return to Wherever. The last track on the album, All Night Forever, makes references to dark magic, ancient rites, and other haunting subjects. Dr. Sung has incorporated more necromancy imagery into his online presence, often advertising upcoming streams with a statue of Baphomet, complete with tiny hands. As we leave the Sunlight Zone, we enter the murky waters of the Twilight Zone. You're traveling through another dimension. No, not that one. If I let Rod Sterling take over, I'm out of a job for good. This Twilight Zone is where the more seasoned fans share sensible chuckles over memes they've been sharing between themselves for a while. We'll use the remaining sunlight to demystify them. After all, why should they have all the fun? Meowch's Helmet, Tail, and Nose When the 2016 EP, Guardians of the Zone, was released, fans came face to face with a mysterious addition to Commander Meowch's look. A helmet. 
Fans were left wondering if this was a hint that Commander Miach was going to get a wardrobe update. When asked about the mysterious helmet in a 2016 AMA, Miach commented that the helmet was only for space travel and that you'll see it soon enough. Unfortunately, fans never did get to see it in person. Keith Shepard, the band's armor maker, shared a photo of the finished helmet on Instagram with a caption, The cat's out of the bag, many moons later. Shelves mask for Commander Meowch of Tupperware Remix Party. Commander Meowch had his fair share of armor upgrades, but of all the members of Twerp, he is the only one to gain and lose an appendage. For a short time, Commander Meowch had a tail. It's hard to pinpoint when his tail first appeared and when it disappeared, but photo and video evidence suggests it was sometime during 2013. In addition to his tail, Miyach had another bodily difference so subtle you probably didn't even notice it. Sometime around the beginning of 2017, the color of Miyach's nose changed from pink to black, and it has remained that way ever since. Who knows what the future has in store for this funky space lion. Dangus Dangus was Dr. Sung's cat that was featured in several photos and videos. He can be seen in the Instagram videos Twerp Presents Speech Jammer Acting Masterclass Part 2, Street Art with Dr. Sung Holiday Edition Part 1, Space Stalls, and Why We Banned Laser Pointers at Our Shows. Sadly, Dangus passed away in 2017, but his legacy lives on in the songs Pets from Together Through Time and Codename Dangus from Dr. Sung's solo EP Justice Wears High Tops. When asked about the song Pets in a 2018 AMA, Dr. Sung shared, When my cat Angus passed away last year while we were in the process of writing the album, I knew that the best thing I could do to honor and memorialize him was through a song. For sure it was emotionally charged for all of us to record and produce, but it never really was a concern that it might be a downer of a song. Sure, it's bittersweet and cathartic, but it's also a celebration of his life and the lives of everyone's animal friends everywhere. And if there's one thing we stand for, it's about celebrating. Dr. Sung's 7 Steps For So You Can Be A Better High Kicker Dr. Sung's 7 Steps For So You Can Be A Better High Kicker is a series of videos that were released on Instagram in 2016. It started as a 7 step program for becoming a better high kicker, but as the series progressed, each step became increasingly more nonsensical, and Dr. Sung's introduction became more and more incoherent often resulting in poor grammar and mispronunciations of his own name. Hi, I'm Upside Sun. Hi, I'm Dr. Sun. Hi, I'm Dr. Snug. Hi, I'm Dr. 7-Eleven. Hi, I'm 7 Steps. Hi, Kicks. Step 9, Mental Exercises. The series eventually ended with Step 19. Step 19 is push-ups. Even more of them. Perfect. Street Art. Street Art with Dr. Sung is a series of videos that were released on Instagram between May 13th and December 18th, 2016. In the series, Dr. Sung demonstrates how to draw various subjects. However, his drawing abilities are comically low, resulting in drawings that vaguely resemble the intended subject. Throughout the series, Sung drew himself, Lord Phobos, Commander Meowch, Hav Hogan, Danny Sexbang, and Ninja Brian. In a special holiday series of Street Art, Sung illustrated classic holiday figures such as St. Nicholas, Old Man Winter, and the Abominable Snowboy. A video from 7 Steps to Be a Better High Kicker is also related. In Step 16, Dr. Sung demonstrates how to draw several shapes that have unique names. You got your snorkel, you got your triangle, and you got your fnace. Many of which are mentioned in the street art series. Start with the fnace. Sung once again flexed his artistic muscles when he appeared on a fundraising stream for Knights of the Light Table alongside Laser Horse. God rest your skull, your soul, Scatman John, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Snakesman's Hunt. Snakesman's Hunt was a series of videos released in the summer of 2016. It features Dr. Sung, Commander Meowch, Lord Phobos, and Half Hogan searching for creatures called Rattle Boys at Snakesman's Point in Griffith Park, Los Angeles. Dr. Sung dictates to his audio journal while the other members of the band search for the creatures. The series ends when Dr. Sung captures the Rattle King. When we have completed our task, Twerp signing off. Nogged. Nogged is a series of videos that were released on Instagram between December 21st and 23rd, 2016. 
each episode features a prank where Hav Hogan gives eggnog to Dr. Sung, much to his annoyance. Oh, damn it! Bobby Frowntown the Clown Bobby Frowntown the Clown is the antagonist from the Instagram video series Dr. Sung's Autumn Video Logs. In the series, Dr. Sung's vlogging is interrupted when he accidentally steps on a toy horn belonging to Bobby Frowntown the Clown. Bobby's horn. He quickly realizes that he had been filming in an ancient clown burial ground and is immediately chased by the ghost of Bobby. Cyclops Sung Due to the nature of Torp's faces being obscured, fans have created many works of art that feature their own unique visions of what their faces look like called face cannons. One of the more popular face cannons that has emerged depicts Dr. Sung as a cyclops. This face cannon has been given more legitimacy with Dr. Sung occasionally commenting about his eye. I can confirm I am a cyclops, a hive mind of bees with CGI mustache. And even drawing himself with one. On a fundraising stream with Knights of the Light Table, Laser Horse drew a cross between Dr. Sung and a beholder from Dungeons and Dragons. Laser Horse, oh, is that a beholder Sung? Sure oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Justice Wears High Tops. In 2018, Dr. Sung released his first solo EP, Justice Wears High Tops, under the alias Groove Crusader. The EP features five songs. Originally, the songs Starlight Brigade, Synthesize Her, and Maximum Thrust were intended to be included, but were adopted by Twerp in accordance with ancient feudal law. Phobos 1 and 2 Lord Phobos has released two solo EPs, Phobos 1 and Phobos 2. Phobos 1 was released in May 2019, and Phobos 2 was released in April 2020. His EP releases also align with his armor redesigns. He now treats the two iterations as separate entities, complete with an ever-growing story that he continues to develop on his live streams. Oh, my phone's ringing. Guys, Phobos 1 is calling me. And you might have called it back. Oh, yeah, you're calling me. Uh, I know I said I'd get it back to you on Monday, but, um, yeah, I just kind of need it right now. Sorry, man. In addition to his solo work, Phobos has lent his skills as a guitarist on the albums Horse Blood and Temple Serpent by Judge Bitch. With the Twilight Zone behind us, we now enter the Midnight Zone. The pressure from the zones above is punishing, but this is a worthy vessel, and we'll proceed as far as she will take us. It's here where we'll explore some material from as far off as the year 2010. Bombastron. Bombastron was a member of Twerp from 2009 to 2014. During that time, he played guitar and the fun rack, a percussion rack with rototoms, wood blocks, and cymbals. During his time with the band, Bombastron went through several different designs. He was an accomplished guitarist and an exciting member of the band. His contributions can be heard on Poise to Dominate and The Device, as well as several unreleased tracks. Atomic Ock Star Trotter. Atomic Ock Star Trotter was the bass player for Torp from 2011 to 2012. He was preceded by Stone Lechismo and succeeded by Commander Meowch. Originally, he wore a blue and white striped morph suit with a war bonnet, but eventually changed to a solid blue suit with an Egyptian motif, complete with a pharaoh's headdress. According to a text post on Dr. Sung's old Tumblr, Atomic Hawk's homeworld is a parallel version of Earth where the Egyptians rule the planet, and it is perpetually the 1980s. In 2012, he received a distress signal from home and left the band to defend his people from space Nazis. Atomic Hawk's tenure with Torp was short, but important. His legacy can be heard on the single Laser Horse, as well as several videos of concerts and street performances. The extent to which Atomic Hawk contributed to the device is uncertain, as he left the band before the EP was released. Welcome to Twerp. Welcome to Twerp is a compilation album that was released exclusively in Japan in 2018. The album features selections from Believe in Your Dreams, Guardians of the Zone, Lady World, and Together Through Time. The project was that of a small music label based in Toronto, whose goal was to get CD releases in Japan for Toronto-based musicians. Only 200 copies of the CD were made, and it has since become a highly sought-after collector's item. Baby NYC Video Baby NYC is a song from Believe in Your Dreams that features Ninja Sex Party on vocals. In the Twerp Holiday Special and Update video, 
Dr. Sung revealed that a music video was being made by Laser Horse, who previously animated the music video for the hit. A few months later, in April 2016, a single frame from the music video was shared. It depicted a dramatic nighttime scene with a view of the New York City skyline from the Statue of Liberty. That image is the only known image of the music video. No other details or images have been shared since, leading this video to be considered cancelled. Fun Rack Fun Rack is an original twerp song that was performed between 2013 and 2014. It's one of several songs from that era that were never released. Fun Rack is notable for its laid-back groove, synchronized dance movements, vocoder vocals, and a breakdown that makes use of the titular Fun Rack, a percussion rack outfitted with cymbals, rototoms, woodblocks, and more. While hard to decipher, the lyrics of the song describe going to a store and purchasing a Fun Rack. Out of all the unreleased songs, Fun Rack may be the most documented by fans. Plasma Wizard Plasma Wizard is an instrumental song that was performed in 2013 and 2014. It was never officially recorded and can only be experienced through YouTube videos made by fans who happen to be there. The song was retired when Bombistron left the band in 2014. Vangelis Vangelis is the name of Torp's former touring van. The van, which shares its name with the Greek composer of Chariots of Fire and Blade Runner fame, was officially retired from service on May 30th, 2018. Vangelis traveled countless kilometers and took the band on many tours across Canada and the United States. Rest in peace, you noble steed. Prior to Vangelis, Torp had another touring van named The Love Rocket. The only references you can find of it to this day are old tweets and Facebook posts. Mobile Fun Unit Twerp gained a lot of experience early on in their career by busking on the streets of Toronto. To aid them in their quest, they created the Mobile Fun Unit. In a 2015 interview with Matt Williams of Noisy, Dr. Sung described the Mobile Fun Unit as a completely battery-powered, dumbed-down version of our setup that we'd just throw down on street corners and have dance parties. For many fans, these videos of Twerp on the street were their first and only way to experience the band from home. That is, until they hit it big with, well, the hit. Although we may never experience Twerp on a street corner again, they're now able to perform on a larger stage and grow their audience globally, without the worry of being shut down by the cops. The Miku Stomp Pedal Hatsune Miku is a Vocaloid an anthropomorphized voice synthesizer, developed by Krypton Future Media. In fall 2014, Korg released Miku Stomp, a guitar effects pedal which lets your guitar sound like Miku herself. Well, Torp managed to get their hands on this elusive effects box, and they were thoroughly entertained by it. The pedal even allowed Lord Phobos to speak and sing. He even sang the Japanese national anthem, which in retrospect shares a lot of similarities with the Top Gun anthem. The Miku Stomp pedal has yet to make an appearance on any studio recordings. Auto Age Standoff Auto Age Standoff is a vehicular combat game developed by Phantom Compass. The game, which was released in 2017, features music provided by several Canadian indie musicians including Twerp, Jim Guthrie, Skullfist, 2600, and Stills. The device version of the No Pants Dance was featured in an early beta trailer in April 2016. Poised to Dominate Poised to Dominate is the first full-length album that Twerp ever made. It was released on October 30th, 2010, and features 11 songs performed by Dr. Sung, Half Hogan, Stone Lechismo, and Bombastron. Several of the tracks on the album are seamless, meaning they transition from one song to the next without a gap of silence. Four of the songs on Poise to Dominate originally appeared on their first EP, Sex is a Machine That Likes to Dance, but were re-recorded for the 2010 release. Those songs are Sexual Favors on a Sunny Day, Hourglass Nebula, the Droids You're Looking For, and Red Alert. Sexual Favors was originally called Extrasonic Value. The version of Hourglass Nebula that appears on Poise to Dominate is a combination of My CN 18 
and the original Hourglass Nebula. The droids you're looking for retain its original title, and Red Alert is an updated version of Interdimensional Bombardment. The album is no longer available for purchase or streaming. Torb explains that the material doesn't represent what we do now whatsoever, and we would love more than anything for our new fans to see our more recent work, rather than listening to music that is basically a different band with the same name. Twerp Agility Pellets In January 2014, Twerp teamed up with Propeller Coffee Company to produce Twerp Agility Pellets. The unique coffee blend was sold exclusively at Crema Coffee Company locations in Toronto. The coffee shops also sold tickets to specific shows. Torp shared a video on Instagram showing the process of making the beans. Twerp and Collective Arts Brewing Collective Arts Brewing is a craft brewery in Hamilton, Ontario that combines the creativity of craft beer with the inspired talents of emerging artists and musicians. According to their website, they feature limited edition works of art on their beer cans and labels and they work to make sure the liquid inside is as diverse and creative as the artists they profile. In March 2015, Torp collaborated with Collective Arts Brewing to design a label for their Series 4 line of beer. Designed by Laser Horse, the label depicts the four members of Twerp squaring off against a crowd of thugs. Their beer label made an appearance in a short video where Meowch tells a joke to Phobos. You ever been to India? Get her India! Junior Scientist Power Hour Written and illustrated by Abby Howard, Junior Scientist Power Hour is an episodic webcomic primarily focusing on pop culture and the events in her daily life. Tupperware Remix Party made appearances in four different comics. The first comic, published on June 26, 2012, recounts Abby's first encounter with Twerp at a street performance. The second comic, published on January 8, 2013, tells the story of Torp's search for the device, and introduces their arch nemesis, Commodore 69. The third and fourth comics, released on February 15th and 20th, 2013, continue the story of Torp's search for the device. Three more installments were planned, but were never published. Canada's Got Talent In 2011, Torp auditioned for Canada's Got Talent. Their audition, which was televised on March 19th, 2012, features Sung, Hav, Phobos, and Atomic Hawk performing an abridged version of Laser Horse. Two out of three judges voted to advance Twerp to the next round, but they gained a third vote from Judge Martin Short after they praised his acting talents. We left you in that documentary, Mars Attacks. <laughs> Thank you so much. Alright, it's a yes, I'm changing my mind. <laughs> Unfortunately, Twerp did not advance past the second round of auditions and did not appear in the following episode. Despite their brief appearance, their performance on Canada's Got Talent holds a special place in Twerp history for being their first television appearance. Since then, Twerp has made several other appearances on Canadian and American TV. Their biggest appearance to date was when they supported Ninja Sex Party on The Conan O'Brien Show in 2018. Storage Wars Storage Wars Canada is a Canadian reality television series where a group of buyers try to strike it big by buying storage units that are auctioned off when rent is not paid. Torp appeared in the fourth episode of the second season, titled, Cause That's What Janitors Do. In that episode, buyer Ursula Stolf brought a vintage Moog Liberation guitar to be appraised by the band. It looks great. It looks great. What is it worth? I'd say maybe 500 bucks. 500 bucks? During their appearance, Torp performed the song ICQ, which appears on their EP, Two Night. Torp and Ursula have maintained a friendly relationship over the years, occasionally exchanging pleasantries online. There's also a German dub of the episode, which is quite interesting to say the least. Instrumente, besonders analog synthesizer wie dieser, sind sehr gefragt. Gefragt? Das Wort höre ich gern. Dr. Sung's fake chin. Despite Dr. Sung's numerous outfit designs, his look has stayed fairly consistent. Yellow and black morph suit, pylonic headgear, and futuristic armor. One piece of his outfit that did not stand the test of time, however, was his fake chin. For a brief stretch of time, Dr. Sung wore a prosthetic chin attached to the strap that keeps his helmet on. There is a saying that life imitates art. Perhaps this was Sung's way of imitating Laser Horse's cartoonishly proportioned illustrations. Blake Fields 
On April 1, 2019, Twerp announced that Dr. Sung has left the band to pursue a career in country western music under the name Blake Fields. A tweet shared by the band's main account reads, Backed by Nashville studio legends Scram Howers, Flip Denson, and Jimmy Witz, the doc is shedding his title as Torp's frontman and pursuing a simple country western life as Blake Fields. You can expect Blake's debut album, This Cone's For You, to drop later this year. The album art features Dr. Sung wearing a poncho and a cowboy hat standing next to a cactus. This is it, mateys. We have finally reached the pitch black depths known as the abyss. This is the very bottom of the twerp lore ocean. Many of the things we'll find here have never been seen by all but the most diehard twerp fans. This may end up being the last thing we'll ever see. Chald Krunger Chald Krunger is the lead singer of the Canadian rock band Nickelbalk. Every February, twerp celebrates Chald's achievements and legacy by sharing images of the rock star on social media. In a now-removed interview by DVTV, Twerp shared that Nickelbalk purchased the Canadian province of Alberta and turned it into its own country with Chald as the leader. Chald was first introduced in 2012 when Twerp's East Coast tour was renamed the Chald Krunger Awareness Tour. Since then, Chald Krunger Awareness Month has become a beloved yearly tradition. Segway Steven Hello, I am Segway Steven. Segway Steven is the name of a sentient Segway, a two-wheeled motorized personal vehicle who promoted Believe in Your Dreams. Segway Steven spoke with a monotone, text-to-speech synthesized voice. As the video progresses, mysterious glitches appear, revealing a dark, ulterior motive culminating in planetary conquest. Goodbye, future slaves to the Segway Empire. Sex is a machine that likes to dance. Sex is a machine that likes to dance is Tupperware Remix Party's very first EP. Released in 2007, Sex is a Machine features seven songs, five of which were re-recorded with new arrangements for the 2010 album Poised to Dominate. Like Poised to Dominate, Sex is a Machine has been decanonized, and most references to the music from the era have been scrubbed from the internet. In a 2016 Reddit post, they shared that the material doesn't represent what we do now whatsoever, and we love more than anything for a new fan to see our more recent work rather than listening to music that is basically a different band with the same name. Black Have Each member of Twerp has undergone numerous armor changes over the years, but Hav Hogan's changes may be the most dramatic. When Hav revealed his current look back in 2015, he looked like a completely different person. His black and white morph suit and gas mask were replaced with a menacing robotic visage, complete with an intimidating spiked jaw and glowing red eyes. Spikes protruded from his shoulders, and his armor was particularly angular and synthetic. However, for a brief moment in time before this redesign, Hav wore a different set of armor. This armor featured a similar robot head, but it was much blockier, and most notably, solid black. This black Hav was worn for an exceptionally short period of time, but its impact can be seen to this day. Black Cone Sung Dr. Sung may have had the most armor redesigns of any twerp member. His changes have run the gamut from subtle to extreme. Most variations seem to stick around for a while, but some are short-lived. For a brief time in 2015, Dr. Sung's armor featured the rare black cone. Only a few videos and photos of this solid black variant exist, including this interview and performance on CP24. Earth Woman Earth Woman is another twerp song that was never officially released. The lyrics, like Fun Rack, are hard to decipher, but appear to be describing the ways Earth Women make Dr. Sung feel. The footage of Earth Women that exists shows Bombastron primarily playing the Fun Rack and hyping up the crowd. Imagination Quest Imagination Quest is an instrumental twerp song that has not been recorded and released on an official album or EP. With a heavy driving rhythm, Imagination Quest exudes optimism and determination. Played as early as 2012, Imagination Quest has been played in several different band configurations. The song was so hot, 
a fire broke out on stage when performing at Evolve in 2012. You can see stagehands running across the stage at one point with a fire extinguisher. Commodore 69 Commodore 69 is an instrumental song that Torp never released on an EP or album. It was performed primarily between 2010 and 2012. The title is likely inspired by the Commodore 64 home computer and the sex position 69. The villain in Abby Howard's Junior Scientist Power Hour was named after the song as well. Event Horizon Many twerp songs make reference to popular culture and incorporate various sound bites and samples. One such song to do this is Event Horizon. Performed sometime between 2012 and 2014, Event Horizon is an instrumental song that features lines from Lawrence Fishburne's character, Captain Miller, from the 1997 movie Event Horizon. This song has never been released, and the only performance of it that still remains is from a 2012 New Year's Eve show. The following segment contains fast flashing lights. It may cause discomfort and trigger seizures for people with photosensitive epilepsy. You can avoid this section by skipping ahead to the timestamp below. Doc Boredom Dr. Boredom is a fan-made arch-villain to twerp. He is the personification of all things boring and unfun. You will know the true meaning of boredom. Doc Boredom was active from 2011 to 2012, posting public service announcements taunting the band with his powers of tedium and monotony. He occasionally appeared at shows and would battle with the band, but each appearance would end in his defeat. In a 2012 interview with Noiseography, Torp recounts one of their encounters with the evil doctor. Can you tell me a little bit about Doc Boredom? What an asshole. What a dick. A fucking asshole. Doc Boredom is a testament to the creativity and enthusiasm of Torp fans everywhere. Stone Lachismo. Stone Lachismo was the first bass player for Twerp. He is the brother of Dr. Sung and was active in the band from 2007 to 2011. Stone can be heard on the EP, Sex is a Machine That Likes to Dance, and the album, Poised to Dominate. He wore a rust-colored morph suit and a mask with two hoses. He was succeeded by Atomic Hawk Star Trotter. Although Stone no longer plays a role in the band, he has occasionally joined his brother on live streams. Players in Dr. Sung's Minecraft server even created a special tribute to him. Shrine of Stone the Cheesemo. Nice. 2013 Liu Zhou Water Festival. Torp has played countless shows in cities across Canada, the United States, Europe, and Australia. But did you know they've performed in China? In 2013, Torp performed at the Liu Zhou Water Festival, a carnival held in September to celebrate the Mid-Autumn Festival and Chinese National Day. Details about the trip are sparse, but apparently they played four nights in a row to a crowd of 5,000 people each night. At one point, they played on a parade float with an animatronic T-Rex. Torp shared a photo of a poster that accidentally published their set list. We know from this image that they performed a mix of songs from the device, as well as several unreleased songs. The following segment contains fast flashing lights. It may cause discomfort and trigger seizures for people with photosensitive epilepsy. You can avoid this section by skipping ahead to the timestamp below. Tupperware Recon Party Tupperware Recon Party is a short-lived side project with Commander Meowch and Bombistron. Together, the two would perform remixes of Twerp songs with Bombistron on drums and Meowch on the DJ deck. Prior to joining Twerp, Meowch used to DJ under the name Slumbercat and even performed under the alias when he opened for Twerp during their 2012 tour. One noticeable work from back then is a special remix of Laser Horse. That weird performance with White Hot Guilt. White Hot Guilt is a side project of Josh Warburton and Thomas Darcy. They collaborated with Twerp on the song Crushin' On You, which was included on their EP Believe In Your Dreams. At the time, very little was known about White Hot Guilt, and like Twerp, there was an air of mystery around their identities. 
things got strange at the Guardians of the Zone release show on April 23rd, 2016. A mysterious bearded vocalist whose voice shared little resemblance to that on the official recording performed Crushing on You with Twerp while wearing a spandex bodysuit similar to Dr. Sung's. To this day, the identity of the singer remains unclear. Was this really a member of White Hot Guilt, or was it someone else? Was the whole thing some kind of bizarre Tim and Eric style joke? We may never know. That is why this moment is referred to as that weird performance with White Hot Guilt. Deus Ex Nunchaku Deus Ex Nunchaku is a twerp song that, surprisingly, has no video or audio available for viewing at the time of this recording. The only mention of this mysterious song is a tweet from 2013 replying to a question about new material. At Twerp Band says, We have many new songs since the device. Titles include Time Crystal, Fun Rack, Plasma Wizard, Deus Ex Nunchaku, Earth Woman. Deus Ex Nunchaku now exists only in the memories of the few fans who are lucky enough to experience it when it was performed. Brilliant Folk Style When Twerp performed in China in 2013, they played a number of songs that were never released. One of these songs is a mysterious tune titled Brilliant Folk Style. A video from a Chinese newscast covering the Liuzhou Water Festival features footage of Twerp playing in the background. It's possible that the song they are playing in this clip is the elusive, brilliant folk style. Grave Robbers from Outer Space EP Grave Robbers from Outer Space is a sci-fi horror card game created by Steven Tassie. In 2015, Steve set out to reboot the then out-of-print card game with new artwork, mechanics, and gameplay. To achieve this goal, he created a Kickstarter campaign to raise money for the project. What does this have to do with Twerp, you ask? Well, according to the Kickstarter, Twerp was brought on board to write an original soundtrack to accompany the game. An update reads, Tassie Game Studios has teamed up with Toronto-based Electrofunk powerhouse Tupperware Remix Party to make Grave Robbers from Outer Space a multimedia experience. Their next EP will be an original soundtrack to the game, and it will be made available as a digital download to all backers at the wardrobe supervisor level or above. Unfortunately, the Kickstarter was cancelled on June 17, 2015. The EP doesn't appear to have been mentioned by Twerp on any social media from that time, though it is possible that the posts were deleted following the crowdfunding's cancellation. Many questions remain around this mysterious EP that never was. It makes me wonder if any songs from Believe in Your Dreams and Beyond were originally intended to appear on the Grave Robbers EP. We may never know for sure. We can't stay here much longer. We'll be crushed like an empty soda can. Ah, we just lost main power. Oxygen levels at 5%. Uh, that's it, we gotta surface and fast. Well, that was quite the adventure. We were able to reach the furthest depths and see twerp lore of every kind from their early days to the present. It's amazing to see just how far these four funky space musicians have come and just how deep the rabbit hole goes. Rabbit hole? W whale hole? Low hole? Hole hunt. Anyway, perhaps we can revisit these waters again in a few years and see even more new and interesting things. Thank you so much for joining me on this fantastic voyage. If you'd like to see any of the full clips featured in this video, there are links in the description below. Till next time, I'm Psychotria, bon voyage!
Now it's time to wrap up this hot new album with a love song. So do me a favor and grab the one you love the most as we take a sensual trip through the rest of eternity.